Hello, everybody, and welcome to the play in stage. Oh, actually, I guess it's not going to be the play in stage because uh, we here at the ALS found out that Nancy Drew Crew was at three in the morning, was not going to uh, field a team for <clears throat> today's matches. So, a little bit of a shift of plans. Pardon the crudity of my graphic here didn't have a lot of time to throw it together we are going to have Marco Bello fan club versus threat level midnight playing a one game sudden death match for the third seed <clears throat> uh i'm just joking by the way this is going to be our graphic we got a real one <clears throat> but i am here joined with my good man monochrome 94 how you doing today what is up, my friends? Followed by Diana, the Threat Level Midnight. That uh, classic Diana band. We yep. love so much here at the ALS. Brown and Autumn would be livid. Cinna banned out. Followed by Pike. Hands going very wide. <clears throat> now we did see Makey play very strong games on Ezreal last week. So I'm not sure if Threat Level Midnight was aware that there is uh, some shortages for their teammates in this game. Only CCO and Cairo are uh, our usual starting five roster members, so I'm not sure if anyone from Threat Level Midnight is actually aware of the fact of those performances coming through on Makey, as we do not see the Ezreal ban coming in here. Nope, rounding out bans with Aphelios Z. Uh, A to Z, if you will. Um, yes, I am a child, don't judge me. Now, we have our first pick being hovered here by Martin Cabela Fan Club. Who will they choose? Definitely taking their time. Sejuani hovered and selected uh, for some quality gank wonderfulness. Let's do some good slows and stuns. Yasuo picked up for CCO. Maybe Grumpy G Granny, but not super likely. Of note, there is another bounty for this week as supports are the best champions in the game, as we have seen multiple times with science, uh, I have issued a challenge to all top laners playing today um, to take support to top lane and win. So we'll have to see if this game, anyone does opt to do that. We do only have one game of the day, unfortunately. <clears throat> well, Sometimes you just gets to try. That's what we gotta do. Lee Sin and Garen chosen for our respective teams. Uh, Garen and Yasuo, very good. Um, Lee Sin, Sejuani, jungle fighting. Vayne locked in here. I would. I am actually super excited here to see Makey on this Vayne. He looked very strong in the AD role last week. And Vayne's definitely one of those champions with a high skill cap, so definitely be interested to see oh, no. if he's able to pop off here. <clears throat> that was not Ezreal, and we expected him to choose Ezreal. Uh, Jin picked for the side of the threat level midnight. Also, just a real quick shout out to Grumpy Granny, who dropped that follow. Do appreciate it. Yep, yeah, thank you, Grumpy, Ga Grumpy Granny, as you are in this game. Please do not take anything I say to be personally offensive. I am toxic. Uh, not a classic toxic off. caster here. Yes, I am the toxic caster here at ALS. Nautilus picked off on the banning table. Out of this game. Not going to happen. No siree. Trying to protect that gin. Uh, followed by Leona ban. Uh, support's really being targeted this game. Very, very few bands targeting mid lane. Morgana banned out. Brown and Autumn would be ecstatic at that. Definitely the two uh, cliche bands here, Morgana 
and Diana. Yeah. Both uh, ends of the spectrum. Mordecai's are picked off the table as well. Just trying to keep Mordekaiser out of top lane. I have been seeing a lot of Mordekaiser support lately, so there's that. Rod needs to be locked in here. Definitely some flex available for the top mid lane here on threat level midnight. Yep, for sure. Makey taking time choosing his mid laner or support. Looks like Malzahar for the mid. Uh, and. Mark Bella Fan Club's last pick is going to be support. Gotta love the pocket pick support. Hoping to uh, see something spicy. Uh, with Vayne, there's a lot of really good choices. Brom is one of them. And Brom and Vayne definitely can uh, solid lane together. Any any really defensive support works well with Vayne. Oh, can no. play well together. Oh no. Okay, that's better. The Heimerdinger hover. Always a classic. Now that he's hovering the Heimerdinger support pick here, that would be quite interesting. That it does not work well, I can assure you. Uh, Tom Kench being oh. hovered. He selects the Heimerdinger though. Is well, that's this exciting. Heim support? I think it is. Um yeah, it's time support. Wow. I I don't know how I feel about this. Definitely a uh, unorthodox uh, cheese pick here coming in, but seemed pretty confident in it, so we'll have to see. Very true. So the thing about this lane will be Vayne and Brom really that I mean, especially into this lane, Vayne and Brom are definitely just going to be hard farming. They're not going to be able to be looking into you too much. Obviously, if the bot lane for Threble Midnight makes a mistake, then an opening is there, but definitely going to be looking for you to scale up here, as they do have a very good uh, team comp as it goes later on in the game. Lots of CC coming from Sejuani, Malzart Ultimate. Braum obviously brings a lot of CC to the table. Lots of peel for the Makey on this vein, too, who has definitely, in my opinion, would be one of the stronger players on Marco Bell Fan Club here. Yeah, this definitely looks like a protect the Nike uh, team comp right here. Yeah, pretty much all four members. Uh, okay, Lisa jumps peel. in, Malzahar, Ultim, uh, Sejuani, CC, Prom, CC, Garen, yeah. Silence on his Q. Yeah, just like a big, fat, beefy front lane or front line. Um, the, the team comp definitely favors Martin Cabrilla fan club in team fights. Um, CCO on this rise, though, could still put in a whole lot of work. That is a whole lot of potential here. Yeah, rise definitely does get to that late game state where he can kind of 1v5 teams, especially against certain comps that don't really have a way of getting on top of them, killing him. Vayne, obviously, is one of those champions. If uh, given an opportunity, could deal excessive amounts of damage to CCO here in a very short amount of time. But definitely, I would say the, the draft here, in my opinion, would favor Mark Bell Fan Club. Yeah, I do like their team comp better. Um, you just really want to hope that the bot lane for Mark Bell Fan Club doesn't get cheesed out by this Heimerdinger pick. Because they get a couple early kills there from some shenanigans, and could be much more difficult to get Makey scaling up on this vein. Yep, and I think Jin actually does scale better than the Vayne, eventually. Just the bonus really? damage you get from a passive. I mean, Jin definitely does lots of damage, for sure. Yeah, I mean, Vayne's going to be able to, like, three-pop anybody, but Jin's going to be able to, like, two-pop anybody. The advantage here for Markville Fan Club is that they definitely do have a very beefy front line. There but, is that. But there is, like you said, lots of damage can come out. Yasuo deals lots of damage, especially if built properly in the tanks. Um, yeah, and it doesn't matter if Yasuo dies early. You get your, your 0 7 power spike and you're just Gucci. One problem for that, for Thrival Midnight, though, I would say, is that just the sheer amounts of CC along with the tankiness from the Mark Bell fan club. It's going to be really easy for them to catch people out, especially with Sejuani. Sejuani's ultimate, one of those staples, especially in, in uh, 
and organized team play. Very good at picking people off. And like you say, Malzar ultimate, Braum ultimate, Braum Q. There's lots of ways for Bunkerville fan club here to pick people off. And even in straight up team fights, there's so much CC. Uh, there's yes, there's a lot of damage potential on the side of the level midnight on a lot of these people like Rise, Yasuo, and Jin. But if they are CC until they're dead, then that damage is not going to be coming through. Yeah. Also, Vayne's just able to condemn on her own. So good positioning equals many, many stuns. As we go to loading screen here, we'll find out just how well our players have accessorized for this fantastic game as looks like both sides are fully decked out in skins. Uh, the good old uh, Dragon Trainer Heimerdinger, a personal favorite of mine. Uh, Sexy Brom, or Santa Brom, if you will. Uh, makes you want to swoon. Firecracker <laughs> Vane, uh, Snow Day Malzahar, uh, good skins. Sabertooth Sejuani, that's a classic. Um, the new Mecha Kingdom Starius, that's hot. Also of note, this is a great invade comp. Um, so, come on, do it. <clears throat> do it. Monochrome, definitely a fan of those level one invades, level one shenanigans. Yeah, the best team fight in the game, level one. All right, so we are on the rift here for this tiebreaker game. Winner of this match, for those of you who are just tuning in, will take the third seed. And the loser of this match will take the fourth seed. A lot on the line here. So as I'm sure neither of these teams are looking to play Iron Dragon in that first round of the playoffs. Definitely the strongest team in the league, at least in my opinion. Uh, does look like line. we have an invade. We have an invade, people. This is what we wanted. It's not going to find anything, but we have an invade. Invade spotted out. Martin Cabela fan club will back into their own jungle. Minions have spawned. Looks like we do actually see a lane swap coming in here. Crumpy Granny on this Yasuo will be heading towards the top lane. Yeah. He would rather face this Garen than the than a Malzar. That's fair. Force melee versus melee and range versus range. That just makes things tidier. Uh, this will be a super like clean leash for Mark Cabela Fan Club now that I think about it. Between the Sejuani and the Braum, that, that buff is going to just be stunned like 90% of that leash. Players will go to their lanes. Like we said, we had a nice little swap up top lane. I had mini pod on this guard, Garen. Yeah, definitely a new, a new pick for him. I has not played Garen yet this season in the ALS. <clears throat> has played has played tanks before though. Does play a lot of tanks. Plays a lot of Scion, so probably right up his alley in his comfort zone. Yeah. Now. I have talked to him outside of the series, and he has talked a pretty big game about his Garen, so we will see if he's able to uh, live up to his own hype. He's just been saving it for this uh, <clears throat> this big game, you know? He doesn't want to tip his, hat, tip his hand too much. The regular season. Saving that pocket pick Garen. I believe his complaint was that it was frequently banned off of him. Oh, that's I, it is very possible. Do see a gank here potentially troll the noob heading towards the top lane. Yep. Double buffed up on a Tuesday. The uh, slow will come out. There's the stun. More damage. Garen will flash in. I am minipod picking up that kill. That is first blood. Meanwhile, bot lane got a fight. Misfit super low. Going to get healed out of there. 
and flash. Uh, get that escape. It is hard to hop in onto this Heimerdinger. Because he's going to be standing near his turrets. Another gank mid lane here. Told the new make another play. Yeah, definitely. He takes here. Vicious. CCO super low on Manny here. Not going to be able to do a whole lot in response. Uh, flashes out. Gets an auto attack. It's going to walk away. Trolled Anu popping his own flash. Stun goes out. Keefcake's getting low here. So is Trolled Anu. Keefcake's will eventually fall. CCO super low here. Prom slow coming in. There's the double kill. Very well done. Things looking very strong here from our fan club early. Oof. They look like up even more Troll damage, but it's really fine. close to dead. Uh, Mickey super low here. The stun goes out. He's going to eventually fall. This is what we were worried about. Troll the noob covering this. Wants to get in. Kiro getting some extra damage in. Misfit super low, but looks like he's going to be able to get out here. Teleport pop mid. I appreciate me not wanting to. Fall behind in the CS game to this rise. Troll pre low here in the jungle. Trying to do another camp before he resets. Yeah, not likely to get caught out here, but we're looking at a gank mid lane. Keep Gank's walking over that war, getting see seen. Oh, maybe Keith Cakes can sniff it out. Nah, war's gonna go down, it's gonna get spotted, he's gonna walk away. Keepcakes is going to start up the dragon here from that. Does know that Troll the Noob is going to have to reset. But it will be spawned out here by the Misfits. Yeah. Keepcakes going to have to back off here. Definitely a little cheeky dragon attempt there. Yep. Got to respect the, uh, gotta respect the, the grind. Got us a little, lane. Yep. Meanwhile, got us a little scuffle down bot lane. Hakey picks up the kill. Gotta fight it out with Hero here. Sun goes down, Condemn goes down. Hero on his last shot. Isn't gonna be able to pull anything off of it, but that's a dead Heimerdinger. <coughs> I have Mini Pod flexing on his Garen too. Top lane gets the solo kill. CCO is gonna roam up top. Looks like he may be going looking to swap lanes. Again. Yeah, it's already two deaths the, there the on the Grumpy sleep. Granny. Yeah. Because he doesn't want any more of this turn. Yeah, does not want to let the damage continue. Meanwhile, Kiro, super low. Trollga Noob looking to get this kill. Blast Cone's going to get him a little bit further away, but it's not going to be enough. Trollga Noob picking up the kill. Uh, Appreciate Mark me. Club looking to start. They are drag here, but appreciate me's out of position. Grumpy Granny going in deep. Misfits kind of low here. Old. What an ult! Uh, Keep kicks super low. Appreciate me flashing, trying to get in on this. Is it going to quite get there? Chasing a little bit aggressively here, but Keep kicks super low. One shotable, 100%. Legendary trying to just poke around the backside of this drag pit. Isn't going to get anything for it. And Mark Capella Fan Club is going to pick up first drag of the game. And that was a really good play there from Mark Capella Fan Club, especially by Appreciate Me. He walked right to the right spot where the mobility from the Misfits and Troll Anoop can hop over that wall to uh, save Meanwhile, Bot Lane, while we're giving a, a solid analysis, there was a quick little kill there. Legendary landing the stun off the Heimerdinger, followed by the root by Hero. And there's a kill top lane because things keep never stopping. This is Love a nice high, high energy game. game. CCO getting the solo kill onto the Garen of Iron Minipod. Looks like that lane swap back uh, could be paying dividends here for the level of midnight already. 
we will see if Appreciate Me manages to start running a train onto Grumpy Gr Granny. If it was the right choice, though. Definitely these two early deaths on the make is not what Mark the Fan Club was hoping to happen in this lane. Already down about 15 CS, a little over 15 CS. Gonna have to uh, make sure to stem this bleeding and uh, <clears throat> make sure they can get that uh, late game vein online yeah. as soon as possible. Looks like we're looking for a fight down here bot lane. Kiro super low here. Misses the root. Mickey comes in, gets extra damage in. Pops ult, makes sure to get as much done as possible. Legendary doing his best to defend here. Meanwhile, I am mini pod out of position here. Doesn't land his blast cone quite right. Turns around, goes to fight this. Trolls He's gonna do a nice lot of damage. Him. That is a wonderful gank by Troll to Noob. I am mini pod looking to fight this out. Grumpy Granny flashing but failing his own flash, stun lands, he's dead, and soon, there's a dead rise. That is a triple kill for I Mini Pod. Yeah, great rotations there for Mark Bell Fan Club to help out Mini Pod when he was caught out there. Also, bot lane picking up some kills as well. So things looking really strong for Mark Bell Fan Club here as they're trying to take down this third seed. Yeah. Definitely looking very good in their favor. Those of you who are just tuning in, I do apologize, apologize once again for my voice. I am still getting over being sick, and I'm sure it sounds very unpleasant. But uh, don't worry, I am sure they are ecstatic to hear my wonderful tones and dulcet voice. As we uh, usually appear, are. It would appear that Chad is, uh, is accusing you of being a coronavirus carrier. So, uh... Good thing that I have yet to meet you in person there, bud. I can neither confirm nor deny that statement at this time. Because I have no idea. Rift Arrow picked up and quickly dropped mid lane here, going to uh, charge in. I see the college health program very adept at helping to keep its students healthy. Uh, Hero getting engaged on Troll Noob, going in aggressively, but Key Picks is also here. Kick goes in. Troll nice Noob super low. Shutdown coming through. Put Troll Noob right under that turret. Very well executed. You see, uh, Braum Ultimate coming out does land on Legendary. He's bot lane can damn well come through as well. Oh my god, that is a ton of damage. That's what you want to see. As a vein, that's. That's what's hot. Meanwhile, top lane, I am Minipod, CCO duking it out. Uh, both trading damage very aggressively. Uh, oh. Mickey trying to get this kill, will eventually get the kill, won't die to tower. Somehow there was a kill top lane. I am Minipod landing the final blow onto that rise. There's so Six much going kills on. kills on this Karen. And five kills on the vein too, as you said. Cairo dropping in this bot lane as well. Keepcake's hovering around down here bot lane. Not a whole lot he can do though. Well, if Misfit specs, maybe this is this is brave. I I think he's been saying. Oh. He goes for the engage. That is. Oh, that's pretty solid. Oh, oh troll! Oh, thank you. Still not dead. We'll eventually die though. Legendary trying to fight this out. Troll to Noob comes in with a sick gank. Looking at maybe tower dive here. Misfit's going to not quite get where he wants to. Jin ult popped, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, picks up the kill. Troll to Noob, well played. Troll to Noob definitely all over this map. With his fingerprints definitely contributing to this massive gold lead that they've established early on here. Everyone. That is very well done. 6,000 gold at 12 minutes. Obviously, there's been a lot of solo kills on Mini Pod on this Karen, as we do see the album and I hang towards the drag. But other than that, Troll the Noob has really just gotten so much accomplished for his team early on in this game. He's been in every lane, early ganks, getting these kills, establishing presence, and really just doing it all, honestly.
trying to pick off the skull crab here, but we'll get a little bit greedy there. This is a bowl. He's gonna yeah. eventually fall, but Mickey's gonna pick up a kill in the process. A little bit caught, too confident there. Heimerdinger oh. ult pop. Bang Looks like pop. Misfits want to engage here. Hourglass pop, or not Hourglass, not much pop. Hi, legendary on his Heimerdinger, but he will fall along with the Jin of Hero. Hi, Minipod, also picking up another solo kill on top lane. Yeah, things looking very bad here if you are th level midnight. The definitely the the better late game team comp as well as just a ridiculous early game lead here at only 14 minutes. Now, let's not rule out the, uh, the 0 7 Yasuo power spike. There's already four deaths of the way there, so. Uh... And we do see him roaming Ba here, trying to collapse onto Meiki and the Misfits. Meanwhile, I have Minipod duking out under tower, doesn't seem to care. CCO popping his ult, the Realm Warp, trying to get in onto this fight, but it's not going to quite get him there. Hero popping ult, not really getting anything for it. I have Minipod just kind of covering mid lane now, having taken this tower. He is free to roam. Terrible things to get in the game. Misfits looking to engage here. Exhaust popped on the legendary. He's going to get picked out. He will quickly fall here. Patrol to noob kind of low. Lands a beautiful stun on the CCO, but it, Misfits super low here. Patrol to noob super low here. Doesn't seem to care. Keeps going in. Makey getting low as well, but still fighting it out and eventually getting the kill. That is a four for zero. Oh, meanwhile, for zero. Granny coming in and five. Now five. it's a four for zero. <laughs> now it's a five for zero. I know. Now it's a four for zero. Keep kids. Now it's a five for zero. Now it's a five for zero. There we go. They got there. They made me an honest man. <laughs> yeah, Dread Level Midnight definitely looking a little bit. Unorganized here. They do have three subs for the game today. So it's definitely playing a little bit of a contributor here. I don't know if just kind of like standing in the middle of these two. Legendary hero, hoping to eventually take him off. Uh, it's not going to be as easy as they think, but it is doable as we see. Yeah, the Storm Razor uh, finished item there, really coming in clutch for Cairo, able to get those slows down onto Garen so he cannot just run away. So you definitely gotta take what you can get here if you're on Thrill of Women Night. If you wanna come back in this game, it's gonna take several plays just like that. Yeah, gonna take smart plays. Grumpy Granny's silenced out, about to get stunned here. Swiss Misfits gets in auto range. Stun goes down, flashes to stay alive, and will eventually get away, but has to flash. Finally, make he also caught out though. Trying to pull up the 1v2, cannot. Cannot do the 1v2. And that's a big shutdown there. 900 gold. Did not see who went on. Did miss that. Uh, it went on to Lee Sin. Keith Cakes. Probably fell over midnight. Would have hoped that would have gone on to Cairo, but 900 gold is 900 gold. They can take. They need everything they can get right now. Definitely, but as we see, the gold difference is only growing as this game continues. Appreciate me getting rooted out here, but can flash away to safety. Misfits there. Guarding the entrance to the river. Ultimate does come out. Won't land on anybody, though. However, Troll the Noob going in hard. He's already at half health, but he's got CCO down to half health as well. Misfits taking a lot of damage, too. Appreciate me coming in on this backside. He also ult. Pop. Oh. Oh, what a snipe. Mickey trying to get a kill here. Going to pick up one. Gets up two. Looking to fight this out. Root lands, but it's not enough to kill him. Hero oh. trying to get the skill. Lee Sin goes in through the backside. I am Minipod looking to continue this fight. But nice that's what you need to do in order to crawl your way back into this game. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Threadable Midnight definitely, I would say, 
three for four there. So that's better than even just trading kills. Definitely what they're looking to do here. I have many pods oh. just kind of casually fighting it out oh. here, picking up the kill. Really baiting it, to be honest. Hero looking to fight a little bit longer, but I have many pods just too damn quick. He's gonna get out. Uh, meanwhile, Troll Noob looking to pick up this drag for free. But, uh, Martinsville Fan Club collapsing here. That is a oh, lot of wards thrown down very quickly from Legend of Oh, that rise damage. That rise is starting to pop off. That is a ton of damage. Hero duking it out with Appreciate Me. And this dragon's in a very precarious position. Who's going to get it? I don't know. Troll Noob ult going out. Not quite getting there. Drag will fall. <laughs> Appreciate me. The dot managing to pick up the kill. Beautifully done. Yeah, threat level midnight was looking very low there in that dragon pit. I think uh, the Mark Buff fan club maybe missed an opportunity there to punish that. They're taking a lot of damage from that dragon. But nonetheless, the level of midnight. As Makey picks up that red buff, Red Level Midnight coming back in this game almost looks like they're not just gonna roll over. That being said, there is a Garen up top lane. He currently has Eye of the Herald in his inventory, going to pop it. That's scary. Meanwhile, CCO getting picked off. 3v1. Shelly coming top lane, gonna charge this tower and bring it down to 25% health. That's aggressive. Meanwhile, this entire minion lane here. But I am Mini Pod will not be able to siege this out with his teammates. However, he will go mid and they will take that tower. And uh, CCO still down for about 10 seconds though. Doesn't look like they're gonna get much on this turret, but. I am Minipod back top lane, looking to siege this down some. Yeah, definitely huge on this gear and looking for that split pressure here, that side lane. Not much of left on this turret. Keep Cakes does pull him away, find a little bit of time. That was an interesting ult. Uh, meanwhile, Garen's just gonna literally tank tower and kill it, so. Remember, double minute heading up now. Rise ultimate coming out with the realm warp. Yep. Mini pod in a bad spot. In a terrible spot. Doesn't even try. Well, nope. Goes for a hard engage. Pops his flash. It's going to walk away, but it's going to help this team get the other tower in Oh, that path. ultimate. That is a beautiful ult. Misfoot's going to stopwatch his way through it, though. Staying alive, but eventually falling through the gen of Kiro with a well done sniper shot. Uh, Troll Noob re-engaging here. Makey looking to pick up some kills. That's one. But it's going to fall immediately afterwards. Makey going a little bit too far in there. No. That was still a 3v2. I was putting the CC and damage coming out. Throw level midnight. But yeah, Mark about Fan Club definitely being a little bit sloppy here on their siege. They did get that top inhibitor turret to fall. But did lose three members for one in the process. Well, it's yep. a huge cold lead. You wouldn't think that I have to take such bad trades like that. The zero ten power spike incoming on that Yasuo. Currently zero and seven, so we're getting there. The zero and seven power spike should be coming in right about now. It's a very astute observation. Yep, that is first item completed on that Yasuo, so. Troll the noob, thinking he's in a 1v1 in here with CCO, but help coming in from Throw Level Midnight. Yep, Sunlow's down. Legendary on the Simerdager, definitely not being a, uh, a pushover. Grumpy Granny here in this fight, going a little bit too deep, though. He's going to get caught here in a second. Appreciate me popping old. I have Minipod in the back line, duking it out, keeping multiple members of the uh, Misfit, or multiple members of... Um, Threat level midnight oh, occupied here. Oh, this keep fight is sloppy. This is not looking good for Martin Cabela Fan Club. Troll to Noob just trying to duke out and do enough damage to get maybe a kill in response, but that is a quadra kill onto Giro. That is a ton of gold. 
and they have their eyes on this bear? Uh, they should be able to get it pretty quickly, but they are really low here. I don't know if this is doable. I mean, they got enough damage. I think they got it. Wow, just like that. Relevant Midnight definitely back in this game. Gold yeah, Meat Hunt is about 4,000. 4,000 gold. That is quite the turnaround. Definitely not what I was expecting it to happen. Obviously, Thrill of Midnight always had a chance in this game. League of Legends is League of Legends. Any team can always come back, but the team comps, I definitely had thought that the scaling was going to be on the side of Talk about Fanko here. They just have not done the team fighting very well. They have the CC, they have the, the, the comp, they just haven't been executing. Like we said, uh, we do see this uh, dancing around this dragon here. It could be another explosive team fight about to break out. Misfits can't hold very low quick. Taking a ton of damage there. Dragon starts to reset, cancels its own reset, looks to re engage. Uh, Legendary eating a ton of damage here. The smite fight goes down and will favor threat level midnight for the first time. Well, no, never mind. They picked up the dragon earlier. I'm just blind. Jin popping ult here, doing a ton of damage, but not picking up any kills. Threat level midnight treating one death for the Drake there. I mean, to be fair, it was the Oswo, who is now aiming for a 0-10 power spike. Hey, but he's not worth it. He's not even worth gold, so even more worth. Sending a Grumpy Granny in there to, uh, to distract him while they take the Drake. <laughs> but they get it to work. They get the drag. Two to hey, two on Drake. Orthodox. And works, then it's then it's good. If it's unorthodox and sounds stupid, but it works, then it's genius. <clears throat> Once again, as we were talking about in Champion Select, there is a lot of damage potential on on multiple members coming from Double Midnight. We do say that Mark Bell Fan Club has a better team comp, but Yasuo can do lots of damage. Rise can put out lots of damage, and as we saw in that fight, Cairo with the quadra kill puts out a lots of damage on this gin, so since Markabell Fan Club has not been executing these team fights very well with their CC, damage is able to come through from Double Midnight. They've been turning this game around. Oh. This is Flash Ultimate. A little ambitious here. Wind Wall is stopping that. Yeah, isn't going to be able to uh, continue. CCO's good pushing down here in the bot lane. Meanwhile, Legendary forcing this engage here. Miss been super low already. Trying to go into body block form, stop him getting killed. But meanwhile, CCO sieging bot lane. Uh, I have mini pod coming back in response to try to defend this, but damage done. That's uh, rather unpleasant. Trolled a new re-engaging here. Pops all gets the stun onto the Yasuo, but Yasuo's not worth gold. Mekki going in for this hard engage here. Wants to get some kills, gets the shutdown onto Hero, which is beautiful. However, he's gonna quickly fall to CCO. Holy cow, did you see that damage? Yeah, Mickey definitely walked him the wrong way back towards his team there. Right into CCO. That, that was... brings us to a 0 10 Yasuo, who uh as you all know, that's when it happens. This is this is when the magic begins. Missed the 0 and 5 power spike, missed the 0 and 7 power spike, but here we are at the 0 and 10 power spike, the inevitable Looking one. At the 0 and 10 power spike. We got a great game on our hands here, despite that early, early massive gold advantage among the bank club. This one could definitely go either way. Yeah, game is once again super close, closer than it's been since the beginning of the game. As we have said, there's a lot on the line here. Loser of this match will take the fourth seed and have to play Iron Dragon in the first round. Definitely a lot on the line. Turn. 
Arkham Fan Club just needs to recenter themselves, honestly. They still have the scaling great team planning comp. They just need to play really tight as one unit. And I think they can take down these fights. Both teams dancing around each other here in this mid lane. Lots of positioning, but nothing coming of it just yet. Dragon will be spawning in about a minute. Of oh, a midnight does have priority over this river. <sighs> oh, the Marco fan club looks like they're just gonna be pushing mid lane. <laughs> the good old run it down mid strat. And really, no one in position to defend here. Well, the midnight, but Mark Bell Fan Club is splintering off here. Not fully committing. If I was Mark Bell, oh, picking off here. We got a pick here. Legendary getting really low very quickly, eventually falling to Mickey on that vein. That's a huge pick here for Mark Bell Fan Club because that's going to be 4v5 here for this trade. Yeah. Mini Pod's top lane too, as well. He's split pushing, does have TP available. Yep, Ward in position. TP is very doable. Misfits eating a bunch of damage to start here, though. Marco Fan Club needs to wait here and not start the dragon until Minipod gets this inhibitor down. Yeah. Looks like they are doing chest pad. They are going to we'll force play here, stall. Well done. Uh, meanwhile, I Minipod just like running it down top lane. They're having to respond to him. They're going to pick up drag. Very well done. Definitely some that was good macro quality there. macro play. For sure. Now Baron will be the next objective. We do see members from Mark Bell Fan Club heading there right now. And with this top end hip down, and they're just finishing their fourth dragon, that forces threat level midnight to have to make bad choices. No vision here on the pit. Threat level midnight, but we do see legendary getting here now. We'll get that ward in. He takes we'll it from the area, does the I don't think it's going to be fast enough. Sichuan, he managed to land the smite correctly. And that is Baron picked up. Minipod already down in that bot lane here. Very effective on this push here with this Garen. Will force the teleport out from CCO. The teleport is still available here on Minipod. Yeah, Mini Pod able to reposition here quite easily. Thrill of a Midnight putting together a great comeback effort here, but do find themselves once again a little bit of a sticky situation. Yeah, Martin Cabela Fan Club buffing up, getting ready to do a nice big long siege here. Expect to see I am mini pod in the solar lane. We got two members body of double midnight. Yeah, chase down mini pod, but it's hard to chase down a Garen. That's a speedy boy for sure. Members from Mark uh, Buff Club now collapsing. If I am mini pod making a turn, looking aggressive here, doing a ton of damage. Lee Sin will pop ult here. CCO super low, eventually falling. Heathcake's taking more damage here, eventually gonna die as well. That's two quick, quick kills in succession. The top end hip down. Expect to see Martin Cabela fan club running it down bot lane, forcing bad decisions down here. Make it happen, boys. Curtain call coming out, trying to do everything he can to stop this push, but down two members now for still 25 seconds. Super minion wave is top lane. We'll be pushing him too. Baron bus still up. Yeah. Fan Club diving. Call a noob going in hard. Ult popped off the Malzahar. Grumpy Granny dying very quickly here. That was some hardcore chunkage. That's two more members down 40 seconds. Troll, troll the noob there making that pick. Arkabell Fan Club definitely has their eyes on the base here. Minipod was splitting mid as well. Both inhibitors will fall. Yeah, very slowly, but they will get there. Yep, yeah. and both are down. The uh, red face open wide. Yeah, still a long time here on two members. It's going to be five before. Oh, Kiro getting picked up into the Nexus itself. 
This is gonna be game. Wow, what a fantastic ending. And Martin Cabello fan club will win this tiebreaker match and will take the third seed moving into playoffs. Well played, boys. Well played. A little sloppy there in the middle of the uh, the game, but managed to pull themselves back together for the win, making it happen in the final hour. I'm curious to see some damage graphs. Holy Close cow! That was an explosive Heimerdinger. That Heimerdinger pick, though, definitely <clears throat> cheesing up there, especially in the mid game. He was able to get a lot of uh, poke damage down onto members. Uh, Mark Bell fan club. I felt like that was actually a big, big part of them able to turning around a lot of those fights. Yeah, and game. those stuns too. The good old Heimer stun, throw a grenade, and boom, you're not moving anymore. So, uh, all in all, it was a nice, well-balanced, explosive game. A joy to watch. Both of our teams performing well. With Mark Cabello really pushing out the, the damage there early. I have any pod finally getting his Garen. Seemed to be quite explosive. You did uh, have the interest on that Garen. Oh, yeah. You knew it. You saw it. You were I like, this is going to be good. Yep. Uh, definitely showing off a little bit um force the lane swap and then force the lane swap back uh definitely very nice we do have an interview here with the team captain for mark cabell fan club so we'll be joining us here in just a second and uh if it ain't the man the myth the legend himself the misfits how are you feeling after that game uh Decent. I mean, we kind of stomped, then we started trolling, and then it got scary. So, I mean, it was pretty free, though. And it got scary. Speaking of which, what happened? Like, you were doing great, and all of a sudden, they're starting to pick um, up. Well, right. people wanted Pentas and started wanting to try to go in 1v5 to see how it happened. And, uh... Was yeah, this clearly communicated in chat, where your teammates just like, hey, I'm gonna go 1v5 this, or was this very, uh, like... I mean, basically. <laughs> so after a while, we're like, okay, wait. Uh, probably shouldn't troll anymore. We might actually yeah. lose because they're scaling. But the Yasuo and Rise, but I mean, Yasuo is like 0 and 10. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the 0-10 power spike on the Yasuo. Got to worry about that one. Um, so with this, you are going in as third place. Yeah, reversing uh, endgame, right? Yeah, I believe you're versus yeah. Endgame. All right, good. Um, how do you feel about the the finals playoffs? I mean, I'm not too scared of Endgame. I'm pretty sure we beat them like a week or two ago. Uh, obviously, Iron Dragons look scary, but I mean, you never know. Anything can happen. They have lost. Yep. To like the team that was in like second to last place. Yes, they uh they lost to Target Shopping Carts the powerhouse um do you have any like super secret strategies you have in the works i mean don't give me details but like i mean do you have something I'll just say you might want to ban lux i'm pretty good at it i gotcha throwing out the gauntlet says hey lux is on the table ban it or else i played it two games so far it's pretty fun pretty good beautiful um Anything, uh, any shout-outs you want to give before we uh, call it uh, quits for the day? I guess shout-out my ADC. He's not, like, on a roster. He's actually from Target Shopping Carts, I think. But uh, he's filling in for us because, I mean, it seems time in the playoffs. And we always need one person, so. Fantastic. Cool. He's uh, least. That is quite the team captain thing for you to do. Um, thanks for uh, coming in and talking with us briefly, and uh, we wish you the best of luck in finals. Thank you. See you. All right. And, uh, <coughs> Definitely. Go, go ahead, Mono. 
Um, definitely an explosive end to the regular season. Really looking forward to the uh, the playoffs here. So I originally, actually, I should have had a graphic showing the the playoffs the playoff positioning with the four remaining teams, but due to some complications uh, with the day, I do not actually have that available. But uh, I will get that posted to the Discord uh, as soon as possible. Um, for all fans out there, there is a link to the Discord down below. Actually, that Discord, uh, the link in uh, below might not actually work. I'm going to drop one in the chat here, just in case. Hello. Thank you, viewers, for coming in and watching the shenanigans. I think that's all we have for today. It was a, a rather awkward day, but I will be on the game for the rest of the day. If anyone's looking to pick up some games or have some fun, and... Uh, also, um, <clears throat> uh, once again, I do apologize for my voice. Still getting over being sick. But uh, tomorrow is the All-Star event. Uh, the, we are having a 1v1 tournament uh, for any skin. Uh, the winner will get any skin they want. So if you are interested in participating in that, head over to our Discord under the announcement tab. There is a link there to register for that. It is 4 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. As well as following that will be the All-Star game with the ALS All-Stars. So definitely don't miss any of that action. And unless you have anything else to add, uh, Mono, I believe that will be it for us today. I uh, just want to thank our viewers for spending their morning with us and wish them the best of luck in their games today. All right, and we will see you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m. for the All-Star event. Y'all have a great day.